Originally from Italy, what is Jangduia? A, chocolate, B, cheese, C, coffee. Jian Dua. You've put, this is tough, isn't it? Coffee, do you know what it is? I don't know, I know that uh, my brother-in-law's Italian, so he's probably gonna kill me for this one. Um, but uh, I know that he loves his coffee. Uh, he loves his cheese as well, in fairness, but um, yeah, best guess. Never heard of it. Correct answer is, come on, we've got to get lucky. I think you'll know this, Andy. So we've got to get lucky. Ouch, staying where you are. Chocolate's the right answer. Now he loves his grub, this lad, right? More to the point, he's a mad chockey. He's got a chocolate trough in his living room. You ready? All right. Chase has put. I think we're out, Andy. Oh, oh <laughs> goes wrong with cheese. Make a note of that. In nearly a thousand episodes, I finally get a question about chocolate wrong. Tian Dua. Fantastic. Which celebrated Renaissance artist was aged 88 when he died? A. Raphael. B. Leonardo da Vinci. C. Michelangelo. You've put um, Michelangelo. It's an educated guess. Um, it's the name of a restaurant near us that I quite like. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good as it gets with me, Brad. <laughs> Correct answer is... Oh! <laughs> Step closer. It's the Irish blood. Michelangelo it is. Chaser has put go wrong. Come on, missus, go wrong. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Come on! Here's your next question. We're three ahead. Come on, we're three to go. Uh, which painting technique might use a palette knife to apply the paint rather than a brush? A. Pointillism. B. Watercolour. C. Impasto. You've put... Impasto. Do you like your art? I doodle, but I wouldn't say I'm a proper artist. I know it's definitely not B. Yeah. Um, pretty sure it's it. Yeah. And you're, not, you're sure it's not A? Correct answer yeah. is... Yeah, it's been past those right. Step close to home. Chase has put. Goes. Wrong with pointillism. I've never heard of him, Pasto. Game opens up. Oh, yeah. In Gaelic, a dock and Doris is a drink taken when two people do what? A duel, B part company, C marry. <sighs> You've put. Duel. No idea. I think dioc might mean two. It's like deuce and all those other words, but what the two people are doing, goodness knows. To go through with a thousand, correct answer is. Oh. Did you know that, Mel? No, I didn't. Staying where you are, Jenny. <laughs> For a thousand pounds. Correct answer is part company. If the chase has put part company, we're out. Chase has put. Come on, go run, please. Put marry. Go marry, please. Go marry. Go, go, go. Yes, he yeah. did. He did as well. You Good. Ex star. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> My Gaelic's not what it used to be. All right, no, no. How much did the first UK TV and radio license cost in 1946? A two shillings. B, two pounds. C, two guineas. You've put two shillings. Two pounds is a lot of money, then. I know that much. Um, Do you know how much two shillings was? About 10p. Hey! Very good. Correct answer is... Unlucky, though. <laughs> but nicely worked out, mate. Staying where you are. Chase has put... Goes wrong with two shillings, also. Yeah, I thought that. My first thought was two pounds is too much. So expensive. Yeah. So expensive. All right. Which of these zoological terms best describes snakes? A. Vertebrates. B. Mammal. C. Herbivore. You've put... Vertebrate. Yeah. They have bones, they're cold-blooded, and they eat live things, so they're not a mammal and they're not a herbivore. Correct answer is... <laughs> Thank you, Vertebrate. <laughs> it is, of course. Step closer to home. Goodness knows what the chasers put. Oh, oh, wow. oh. <laughs> I've just never seen a snake eat meat. What? 
Yeah. Things huh? that we've been watching. I just imagine they were eating grass and stuff. They actually swallow live animals. Sometimes your brain doesn't <laughs> quite work. No. Which religious order has provided the most popes with at least 17 in total? A, Benedictines, B, Jesuits, C, Dominicans. You've put Benedictines. I'd have put that. I don't know, but I'd have put that. Yeah. Yeah. Correct answer is... Well played, <laughs> step close to home, Benedictines it is. Chase has put... Oh! oh. <laughs> now really then... Good question. There you are. What is it called in baseball when a runner is stranded between two bases and is at risk of being tagged out? A, a stew, B, a jam, C, a pickle. Um... Need an answer. You've put pickle. I don't know, in honesty. I have no idea. I, I have no idea about baseball at all. All right, correct answer is? I was going to put jam, but... It is a pickle. Oh. Well played. Step close to home. Chase has put... Goes wrong with a jam. Oh. Game opens up. Very good. One more. We're home and dry. Never heard of that. Me neither. No. How is an American Murphy bed known in the UK? A, bunk bed. B, fold-down bed. C, water bed. You've put fold-down bed. I don't know why. I think because bunk bed in America, I think they just call it a bunk. Oh, yeah. Of course they do. Correct answer is nailed on. Well played. Very good piece of work. That step close to home. Chase has put... Well played, Andy. Excellent. Nicely thought out. Hello. Yeah, that was silly of me. And I didn't work out what a fold-down bed was till after I pressed it and then went, oh, of course it's going to be that. Right, OK. Blunder on my part. Yeah. He's got his own water the bed, of course. Lake Windermere. <laughs> <laughs> when calculating the official UK charts, how many streams equal one sale? A, 10. B, 50. C, 100. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? You've put 10. I haven't got a clue. Me neither. I know what it means, but I haven't got a clue. I mind. don't get it. No, here we go. Right, £46,000 hangs in the balance. And whether Annette has a playing partner in the final chase, of course, here we go. Good luck. You've put 10. The correct answer is... Oh, this is tough, isn't it? She'll know. You think? Oh, just that look on her face. Right, here we go. Got to be wrong for us to stay in the game. Final hurdle. Had you taken the nine grand? Jim, we'd be home and dry now, mate. Chase has put... I don't know. Got to be wrong. Oh! You're not very good at reading my face, are you? What range of hills crosses Buckinghamshire and Western Hertfordshire? A, Chilterns, B, Cotswolds, C, Quantucks. You've put Cotswolds. Complete guess. This is my sheltered living in Jersey life. Yeah, it is. I have to say, this is the one of only two I've known. Um, you've put the Cotswolds. Got to be right. The correct answer is... <sighs> Chilterns. Staying where you are, if the chasers put Chilterns, you're out. Do you think she knows it? Yeah, yeah so do I, sure. unfortunately. Chaser has put... A reprieve. Ooh. I knew it was not the Cotswolds. Definitely not the Cotswolds. What made you put the Quantox? Did you, you not know that area, Buckinghamshire, Hertfordshire? I'm not posh enough to hang out in Buckinghamshire or Hertfordshire. Yeah, <laughs> Chilterns. Chiltern FM. <laughs> Everyone in Chiltern FM talks like that. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> In the Hasbro standard version of the game, Battleship, which vessel takes only two hits to sink? A, a carrier, B, a cruiser, C, a destroyer. You've put... Destroyer. 
Yes, I'm just trying to think in terms of sizes of boats. That's it. Which ones do you think is biggest? I'm guessing cruiser's probably the biggest, and then carrier should be pretty big as well, but not. So destroyer might be the smallest. Correct answer is... Well played, destroyer it is. Step close to home, well done, Chase's foot. Goes wrong with cruiser. Okay, I was trying to work on the same logic, but the problem for me is I have literally no idea what any of those ships look like, and I have no idea which one's the smallest. Which singer has daughters called Amber Rose, Saffron Sahara, and Tallulah Pine? A. Sting. B. Bono. C. Simon Le Bon. <laughs> You've put Sting. I don't think it's Bono. Uh, I don't know much about Simon Le Bon other than the band he was in, but. Sting, it sounds about right. Correct answer is... Simon Le Bon, all day long. OK, staying where you are. Chase has put, here she comes. Yeah! I honestly had no idea. Seriously? Yeah, really no idea at all. <laughs> On an Italian restaurant menu, what is pesce spada? A, haddock. B, red snapper. C, swordfish. You've put swordfish. Well, Sparda sounds like a spade, which is close to a sword, I suppose. <laughs> I just what sort of gardening do you do? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Correct answer is. <laughs> swordfish is right, one from home. Come on. Chaser has put. Oh! Oh, get in! <laughs> This is great! Who sang The Man with the Golden Gun? I bet you do know. Um, Man with the Golden Gun! Bradley <laughs> Wong. No. No, Lulu. Lulu. Which of these was a big hit in 2013 for the Swedish duo Icona Pop? A. I love it. B. I hate it. C. I don't mind it. No. Nightmare. It's a nightmare. You've put... I love it. I think I kind of remember the song. I 